hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be making you can put in your jewelries you can use it in the kitchen you can use it as decor in your parlor in your bedroom it's very useful it's a multifunction it's like a basket made of african was i have this pattern here so i've already cut the paper so from here to here is seven inches this point here to this point is seven inches from this point here to here seven inches seven inches seven inches seven inches and seven inches into six places one two three four five and six i fold like this I fold it like this after folding it into two i measure seven inches i mark then from here i measure seven inches i mark i measure from here to here seven inches to here from here to here seven inches from here to here seven inches from here to here seven inches and from here to here seven inches so this place is 14 inches the middle here this is the middle this very place is the middle so this is 14 inches but if you fold it again it will not give you seven inches why this place will give you three and a half inches because it's folded again so this is how it is i place on my material on African was like this and cut so I'm going to cut another one I need two of this was so you can use the same material you can use different colors you can use two colors you can use one color I will place like this and I will cut exactly the way I cut the first one exactly this paper this pattern I'm going to cut I'm going to use this this like foam very soft that would stretch material on the back I'm going to remove and use it to cut the same Use it to cut the same. You can use this for pillow, something like this for pillow, very light and thin. I'm going to sew exactly the way I cut the the design the pattern before i sew i'm going to sew this inside and i will use this as button i will cut three inches into six places i will sew i will measure from here down here one inch then i will measure from here one inch 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 and I will measure from here to here one inch. So this is where I'm going to sew it on. This place, this place, this, 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 this. So I will sew the button. I will mark from here to here one inch. I will mark from here to here one inch. I will mark from here to here one inch. I will mark from here to here one inch. I will mark from here to here one inch. I will mark from here to here one inch. I hope you understand. So let me cut three inches on each into six places. So I have six buttons here. So 
oh this is how i will get the inches i want this is so what i will do now is to like this like this so the place i'm going to sew button on is inside i will place like this like this and so I will do the same here, I will do the same here, I will do the same here, just like the way I saw this one, this first one. Mark from here down here, one inch, and place it, and so place the material on top, and so when you reach here, you do the same like this, you sew, when you reach here, you do the same, you sew into six places. So when I'm done sewing, when I reach here, I will... After sewing up to this place, I will leave some inches here, like four inches here, to bring the right side out. That I've already sewn all the hair round. Then get it to this place, I will leave four inches to bring the right side out. So let me go and sew. When I show you, you will understand what I'm talking about. So let me go and sew. I'm done sewing. I will bring the right side out. this wow this is the other side I will iron after finish ironing this place I just bring out the right side from this place I will sew very tiny on top round I will sew like this then after doing that i will measure from here one inch i will sew one inch i will sew like that up to this point i will sew to this point like that then i will show you i'm done sewing after sewing the edge here very tiny then i measure one one inch this is how i sew this it so from here to here this place this rope to this point here is one inch all through this from here down here i will measure one inch from here to here one inch to sew the the button like this so i'm going to sew the button now one inch one inch one inch one inch one inch and one inch we try the needle want to sew like this and tie when i'm done tying the button I will show you the finished look. I'm done sewing the buttons. I will write the name out along where you are watching this video so you know the name of this rope I use. You can use any thick button of your choice. It doesn't really mean it has to be something like this. Thick one, not flat. Then you button. Then to button like button see it's giving the shape you can use it as decor in your bedroom in your city room 
you can also use it as jewelry see is it guys you can also bring it this way you can use this side so like this you can use it that side so this is it guys thank you so much for watching as always if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you are new you are welcome please subscribe and share this video to friends and loved ones thank you so much for watching and i will see you all in my next one bye bye